Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anton, and I will lead today's webinar about custom consoles in Smart PTT software. Here is a short description of what is Smart PTT software. Smart PTT is a highly customizable application and comes in several variants that provides different set of functionalities for different systems. Interface with radio system can be done via control stations or via IP connection to motor turbo repeaters. Dispatcher software gives opportunity to control and log the flow of data and voice in radio network, request location of subscribers and monitor the state of repeaters. Also, Smart PTT gives a set of software tools, such as web client and file transfer software, which increase radio network usability and functionality. Smart PTT has functionality that allows it to connect to PBX and gives subscribers the ability to use PBX interconnection from radio network as well. Agenda of today's webinar are listed on this slide. I will describe custom consoles, their purpose and benefits of using them. Then I will tell about available element base. And finally, I will describe how to create a custom console in compliance with your requirements and what features Smart PTT can provide for that. Well, what is custom console? Custom console is a specific type of highly customizable user interface which brings some shortcuts for frequently used options and calls within easy reach of dispatcher. These consoles allow creation and visual, or visual organization of any set of radio network elements from subscribers to whole radio topologies. Dispatcher will be able to quickly and easily reach for any element placed on custom console instead of searching through lists of online subscribers using tons of different drop-down menus or remembering a whole lot of shortcut keys. All the elements are customizable in size and color and could be easily grouped. A set of available elements includes, but is not limited to, private calls, group calls, text messages, telemetry control buttons, channel selectors, and other convenient elements. It is possible to use as many custom consoles simultaneously as needed. Additional custom consoles can be used by different operators in different time. For example, specific consoles for night shift and day shift. Different consoles for different radio subnetworks. Consoles can be arranged in tabs, allowing dispatcher to save workspace by shifting between different consoles for different functionality. Any console can be dragged out of interface to a separate window to be placed on a second screen, projector or LCD wall panel. Main purpose of custom consoles is to give the dispatcher flexible and powerful interface which can be customized to comply his requirements whenever he needs. Custom consoles were specially designed to be easily used with touch screens. Big, colorful buttons provide as much information as possible without obstructing the interface. This interface keeps things as simple as is. To call group, click or touch a button with this group. To send telemetry command, click or touch a corresponding button. To switch a channel, click or touch a channel button. Whenever more functionality is required, the context menu can be called for any commands not available through direct access. The amount of mouse movements and clicks is decreased, thus increasing the effectiveness of a dispatcher. Quicker access to needed functions allows for easier and more fluent communication with radio groups and subscribers, phone contacts and other dispatchers. Also, custom consoles allow to create interfaces that is similar as much as possible to what dispatchers used to work with previously. It eases the migration from old analog dispatcher consoles to smart PTT. Further, I will describe existing elements and their purpose. First type of custom consoles elements is call elements. These elements are used to make outgoing calls and see the status of different channels and groups. Channel element gives access to all groups existing on the specific channel. <coughs> the free field at the bottom of the element will contain the information about the calls which are happening now on the channel. It gives a quick overview of how busy the system is now. Dispatcher can select any group with a drop-down list in the middle of the element. All call is also available for selection. 
Speaker icon in top right corner provides quick access to mute feature. If you do not want to hear this channel, just tap on this button and speaker will become crossed, meaning that this channel is this channel sound is muted. The contacts menu button in bottom right corner provides access to the familiar context menu, containing shortcuts to most of radio network options. These options are radio check, block and unblock radio, find on map, properties window, and so on. Group element will give a shortcut to call specific group of radio network. This button doesn't give an option to change the group it will call, so it is fixed button for fixed group. This button also gives access to mute function and context menu. Subscriber element provides an option to call specific subscriber. The color of the element will be dimmed to the grayscale if corresponding subscriber is offline, making it easy to guess which subscribers are available currently at glance over the console. When subscriber makes a private call to dispatcher and that call remains unanswered, this subscriber will be marked with a missed call sign and counter in top right corner. Dispatcher will always be able to see who have called him and how many times. Context menu is available as well, however muting of individual subscribers is not possible. There is also an option to create a broadcast call button, which will transmit an all call on each existing channel in the radio network. This can be used in emergency situations, when dispatcher needs to notify all subscribers about something. Resulting call is all call. So subscribers will not be able to answer this call directly, but it is possible for them to call back to dispatcher for more information if needed. When the call is in progress, the color of the corresponding element will change. Different colors correspond to different states of call. Light yellow element shows that dispatcher is trying to initiate the call to this subscriber, group or channel. Green element shows that there is an incoming transmission from this subscriber, group or channel. Dispatcher hears the voice from this group, subscriber or channel. Bright orange element marks active outgoing call. This subscriber, group or channel is listening to dispatcher. Bright blue is for hang time. Call is not over now. Channel is reserved for further possible transmissions, but nobody is speaking right now. Another specific state not related to call state is unavailable, which is shown by turning all the colors of the element to grayscale. It means this element is not available in radio network now. Offline subscriber, disconnected control station or repeater channel. All these elements will be shown as grayscale. Next type of elements is control elements, which do not establish voice calls but control some instances in radio network. First of them is channel selector. The, this element provides control over control stations connected to a radio server. If a control station is programmed with a set of channels, they can be switched with this element. The rules are simple. One channel, one button. Active channel will have big orange blob within the button. In inactive channels will have a dark circle. Clicking on the button will change the current active channel of control station, thus allowing a dispatcher to work on different channels at ease. Next element is telemetry control. There are two different types of telemetry elements, one for incoming telemetry and one for outgoing. Incoming telemetry element will show current state of specific telemetry pin with a colored square. Colors are customizable. So it can be, for example, green for active and red for inactive. Clicking on the update button will send the request on status update to radio. And square color will be updated for an actual state. If radio sends the status update by itself, square color will also be updated. Outgoing telemetry element features additional button. This button sends configured telemetry command to the radio. Telemetry elements will also show online and offline state of subscriber. Voice notification control element. This element provides quick access to voice notifications configured on a radio server. Dispatcher will not need an additional menu 
to start notification, only a big and straightforward play button. Upon clicking this button, pre-recorded message will start playing on channels, specified in radio server settings previously. Play button will change to stop button. Clicking the stop button will stop the sound notification. Text messaging prompt. This element will become active if any other element which can receive TMS is selected. TMS prompt will show the name of subscriber or group to which TMS will be sent. Dispatcher can enter text of a message directly to the prompt or select from a list of predefined messages in a drop-down menu on the left. Next type of elements are contact elements. Contact elements will open the contact window for a corresponding dispatcher or a phone subscriber on a double click. A contact window contains latest history for those contacts, including text messages for dispatcher contacts. Connect and disconnect button are used to make calls. It is possible to initialize a conference call directly from contact window. There are also some elements which provide some other functionality. One of these elements is shown is incoming events panel which registers all calls and messages coming to the dispatcher and shows them in a list. All new events will be listed in a light red color. When dispatcher clicks this event, it will become white, showing that dispatcher confirmed he knows about this event happened. Second type of such elements are panels. These panels can contain any number of different other elements and will keep them all stick to panel. This allows to group elements. When you are editing the console, if you move the panel, all elements on the panel will move with it. You can also put the PTT button on the panel to make simultaneous calls to all elements on the panel. It can help to call some specific set of subscribers not connected by a talk group, or some specific set of talk groups and channels. Custom consoles are created with a specially designed editor. To create a console, you will need to simply drag needed elements from the tree to the left and place them in an order you like. So, to have access to channels, drag and drop channel elements. It will provide you with access to all groups of the channels and the ability to make an all call to these channels. Here we have two channel elements, which are maintenance and mining in the top left corner. Next step is to drag all the needed groups. You can select different colors for them to differentiate the same elements at glance. Here we have four group buttons, from group 1 to group 4. It's the second row of the console. Next step can be adding more specific subscribers for different channels. For this you can create different colored panels and drag subscribers to them. Another option can be to create a set of emergency contacts for dispatcher for cases of fire alarm, security breach and so on, grouping them on a special panel. Here we have panels for engineers, security team, transportation team, and the emergency panel in the top right corner, which can connect us with security post, fire depot, and so on. In latest release, Smart PTT got some enhancements for the custom consoles editor. Elements are now aligned with a grid, which makes it easier to arrange them in a structured way, so console will have a professional look. Overview of bigger consoles on the minimap and ability to zoom in and out while creating a console for a better design. When console will not fit an editor window for some reason. Also, multiple elements can be selected and modified as a group, allowing for more fluent and easy editing addition of console. You can visit our website smartptt.com to find out more information about SmartPTT software. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel, user SmartPTT. If you have any questions, feel free to send email to us on info at smartptt.com or submit your request via submit form on support portal support.smartptt.com. Thank you for your attention.